Hello everyone, this is Hao. In collaboration with FT Gallery and Fatty Phnom Penh, I bring you the Youth Avenue Podcast. In this first episode, we have the renowned Japanese street photographer based in Phnom Penh. He's a captain of the Mambo Phnom Penh Football Club, an art lover, a family man, and an art enthusiast. He's also a founder of Youth Minister, a project to seek Ichigai, or the reasonable being of people on the streets through photography and interview. With Thunderless, please welcome Shinsuk Miyatake. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. All right, um, let's just start the podcast right away then. Um, would you mind tell us more about yourself to the small percentage of, of people out there? You have yes, 35 yes. plus followers on Instagram, mm. but I'm sure there's more percentage that doesn't know you. Would you mind tell us about yourself? Okay. Uh, my name is Shinsuke Miyatake, uh-huh. and uh, I'm 37, and this year I will be uh, 38. Yo. And I'm working in a communication agency in Japan, and here, I'm living in here and working here for five years. For five years? Yeah. And uh, my hobby uh, is my playing football, and uh, I joined to the Phnom Penh, Mambo, Mambo Phnom Penh, the football club and uh, I'm the captain of that team mm-hmm. and I'm taking photos on Saturday, Sunday and especially I'm nice. taking the people on the street. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So the whole goal of podcast is to give inspiration, mm-hmm. give tips to youth and creative youth out there. Uh, so my first question for you is what inspired you to become a street photographer? Yeah. That is a difficult question uh, <laughs> from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was not aiming to be a street photographer. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think there is a lot of definition uh, yeah. of the street photographer. Uh, I just started taking photos mm-hmm. uh, by iPhone. Uh, that was, I think, 2010. Yeah. And I was living in Yokohama, Japan. And uh, I was working so hard from morning until night. And at that time, uh, my son and my daughter was uh, uh-huh. born. And I want to have something uh, new uh, with the family. Oh, the family. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I have to, I, I was thinking, I have to take photos of my babies, daughters, sons. Yeah. Uh, and there was a lot of parks and Greens around my home, so I just started taking yeah. photos with iPhone. With all with with the own iPhone. Yeah, nice, nice. But uh, at that time, the level yeah. and uh, my quality of the photo mm-hmm. is totally shit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly speaking, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't have any theme. I didn't have how. I didn't know how to take a good quality pictures, mm. and I just taking quick, 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 and. Uh, Starting from that, I met with a super famous Instagrammer. Oh, that so remind me that was back in what year? Uh, I think that is 2013. 2013. His mm-hmm. name is Hiroaki Fukuda. Oh, uh-huh. and uh, I will tell you later, but uh, Hiro, oh, Hiro yeah. he's quite world famous now. And I just go into the bar yeah. at Tokyo. And I was talking with shit English, shit, shit <laughs> English, with a French guy. Still understandable? <laughs> I think, I believe that uh, it's still understandable mm-hmm. uh, in my mind. Yeah. But the guy, Hiro, was coming, hey, you guys are talking shit level English. What are you, <laughs> what are you guys talking? Like, oh, this guy is so mean. Mm-hmm. I was thinking about that. But after talking 10, 15 minutes, he was quite friendly, and uh, oh, I like him. And uh, I was asking him, "What are you guys uh, are you doing in yeah. Tokyo?" I'm taking photos. And uh, do you know Instagram? Yes, I know Instagram. Yeah. And I show him, "This is my photos." Mm-hmm. And he said, "Oh, Take, this is shit." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, I was okay, like, okay. Like, like, oh. this is good." Like, and I, I asked him, <laughs> oh. "What is yours? Please show me." And he showed the iPhone. Yeah. And there was super beautiful photos, and everything is something K, something K likes. 
What is K? Kage. You don't know that? K is 1000. What? So he has. Or oh, likes, right? Yeah. Everything more than like 10K, 15K, 13K yeah. likes. And uh, he had followers more than 320K followers at that time. At that time. Now he is more than 550K. And he's wow. world famous now. And, and he, he, he taught me mm -hmm. a lot of tips. Yeah. Target. Taking photos with iPhone is uh, grid and uh, focus and light. That is the biggest important things. Okay. And I deleted all the photos, uh, shitty photos from my iPhone, and I started uh, with the theme. Mm. Okay. Theme is also important. And I'm working from morning until night, so super busy. I don't have any time mm -hmm. uh, to play around uh, with the families. Mm -hmm. So, but it is a good time. So I decided to have uh, photos of my kids with the Japanese cultures. Ah, I see. So it become more like a Japanese. Yes, like ukiyo-e style, yeah. kind of like Tokyo, typical Tokyo, typical Kamakura, typical Yokohama. So Japanese cultural mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm in uh, everyday life, mm -hmm. like temples, uh, bamboo forest, in the park, like those kinds of scenes with yeah. my kids. Or oh, with, with your kids. And so then I studied that. Uh, yeah, that is the beginning of the, of the street like, photography. Photographer, yeah. Wow, so it looks like how you start street photography is from memories of your families, mm. you know, of your kids, and mm. that, then that falls down to, you know, doing more street photography, documenting and everything yeah, else, yeah. right? Wow, I see. And then how, since you first started street photography, mm. how did you get your inspiration? Yeah. You know, how and where, you know, how like some people say that mm. they get their inspiration from the bathroom while, yeah. while, while showering and that's where, it, oh, it's a new idea mm. and it pops up. And some might say, oh, I walk in the park and new idea pops up, I make a note. And then I was thinking, what, what's, what's unique about your... Uh, inspiration uh, location you know or, yeah. or how you how you get your inspiration from mm. for your street photography yeah yeah so I was focusing on taking time with family especially Saturday Sunday only I have a time uh, you know the Japanese working style yeah. from Monday to Friday I don't have any time. no stop <laughs> so uh, I decided to have uh, time with family and going everywhere near my home but Kamakura Yokohama Tokyo Hakone so many places with uh, lovely Japanese cultural landscapes yeah. and I was uh, looking around Instagram mm -hmm. there was a hashtag what is hashtag I didn't know that yeah and then so many uh, groups and organizations uh, recommending to use hashtags and I started using hashtags so many organizations featuring uh, my photos oh this is interesting yeah, and I grew, and that's still back in 2013, right? 2013, 2014. Okay, okay, so, and then I just continued that kind of, um, like, trying uh -huh. to find a Japanese cultural landscape. Yeah, and uh, my kid is three, four years old, so super cute, but with a kid and a Japanese culture. That was a combination, like a unique combination. Mm -hmm. No other photographer or Instagrammer was taking those kind of uh, combination photos. Yeah. So 2015, I was, or 2014, I was featured by Instagram Japan uh. and uh, appreciating for the Japanese culture. Uh, culture. And uh, Japanese, Instagram Japan featured me and writing about the blog about me. Mm. Uh, there is a kids day in Japan. Yeah, fifth of May. So they oh, posted. May. Uh -huh. They posted about my photos and uh, introduced me. And then after that, Instagram US featured me. Oh. The next day, and then I didn't understand what is happening. But <laughs> all, all the time, <laughs> it's going something. <laughs> like 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 followers, followers. Mm -hmm. uh, at in one night, I got fifty k followers. Before that, I just have 10K or 1K or something, 1K. Mm -hmm. 1K to 50K. Yeah. What, that was amazing. Ah, uh, wow. Oh, and I learned a big 
big thing that is keep on doing and uh, まあ chasing the theme, my theme, taking Japanese culture with my kids and, and taking time with my family. That is the theme at that time. And keep on doing that and then somebody is watching me and posting me about me and featured for whole whole world. Uh-huh. So it it taught me well, just keep on doing and yeah. uh, whatever you want and if you decide that theme you have to chase uh-huh. pursue that theme. That's what I learned from that. I see. So it seems like it's been you don't you don't do it. You no, know, people don't don't spot you, you know, right away. Like it takes until you got like a 1k follower mm-hmm. that's when people are kind of like oh he has their own theme of mm. taking Japanese culture yes, with yes. his families and that I'm pretty sure that because of that it falls to you taking street photography mm. and everything so that bring me to a question about mm. uh, you uh, owning the humanista.life mm. uh, website so I believe it's a project that you're, you're currently seeking mm. on Getting what's the meaning of like or yeah. ichigai yeah. of street photography mm. through interviews and, and photos. Mm. I mean, would you mind tell us yeah. briefly about what the project yes, is, yes. what what bring you to doing it in Cambodia? Mm. You know, now uh, I'm living in Cambodia for five years, fifty years. Fifty years. Uh, I've been I've moved here in two thousand sixteen. Yeah. Without my family, without your family, my family is living in Yokohama still. So I am living in here. Um, after moving here, I saw the big difference and the gap between the Japanese scene and the Cambodian scene. Uh, the naked kids are running around mm-hmm. and uh, how to say picking up the garbage on the garbage mountain, and uh, ma. There is a huge difference uh, from Japanese city view. Yeah. And uh, on the other hand, so many people wearing a good shirt mm-hmm. and uh, wear, uh, riding on a good car, there is a huge gap between the rich people and the poor people. Ah, uh-huh, so like the, the wealth oh, gap. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. Yeah. And uh, at the same time, this is totally different uh, atmosphere uh, from Japanese uh, lifestyle because there are so many people coming from different culture, yeah. different countries. This is so amazing for me. Um, in Japan, some some foreigner friends I have, but not so many times I'm I've interacted with. Yeah. But here every day, I'm <laughs> from US, I'm from Italy, I'm from Africa, I'm from South Africa. Different all different That's places. Super cool. And I want to interact <laughs> with those kind of various people. Uh-huh. And uh, some people are teaching, some people are getting money from startup, getting uh, money from art, and uh, I'm playing football for professional. Yeah. And so many professions. Mm-hmm. And what is the purpose of their life here? It's, it's not uh, about making money, it's not about uh, becoming famous, those kinds of... Oh, really? a, a lot of people have a different purpose for doing something. Uh, I, I was quite interested in uh, what are you doing, uh, for what, yeah. the casually I was asking. Mm-hmm. But I want to ask that question to the people on the street as well, uh-huh. picking up garbage, why are you doing here, what, what makes you uh, doing, do, do that, like those kind of things. From the street people, from the Okunia people, from the professional sport players. I want to ask the same question to the different people. That is uh, my project. Ah, I see, I see. And then the and then the the reason being itself is, is called, I believe it's called Ichigai? Ikigai, yeah. I, I, ikigai. Mm. Do you mind, uh, is, it, is it a purpose of life? Or yeah. what's, uh, what's reason, the definition reason for, of it? Reason for being? Reason for, yeah, it's a reason for being. Or purpose of life? Yeah, and it is quite difficult to find why I am I working, why mm-hmm. am I taking photos, why am I playing football, why am I picking up the garbage? And there is a lot of actions people taking now, but some people has to do that, have to do that to live yeah. every day. 
or just uh, just for fun, just for hobby. It is different. Uh, it depends on the people. Mm -hmm. But uh, nowadays, uh, so many startups, so many big companies, Facebook, Google, Apple, yep. Amazon, yep. making a shit a lot of money. <laughs> At the, on the other hand, people working so hard, but just making a two dollars per day. They're what, still living. What is the difference? Oh no! Uh, I want to. I want to express uh, uh, that this huge gap is insane. But especially in, in Cambodia, right? Especially in Cambodia, nowadays in the world, all over the world. Yeah. This is this is ridiculous. Mm. But uh, if people have some reason or purpose of life, even if it is so hard to work and making money, mm. Five dollars per day, ten dollars per day. It is so hard, but they were smiling. Wow! So for the most of the people making money, trying to get rich, yeah. Forget about those kind of things. Like for making money only. Mm -hmm. But I want to express working for the people, working for the society, make better. Mm -hmm. That is much more um, meaningful. What is a meaningful work? What is a meaningful action? What is meaningful life? I want to pursue those kinds yeah. of things through the question, through the chit chat between the people. Yeah, that's what exactly. I want to do. So I just decided to start. Oh, so so it's all about like. If I'm correct, it's all about finding purposes in your life, mm. and then with that reasons, it's yes. what keep you going. Yes, this actually reminds me of a, a a book that's written by Simon Sinek. It's called Start with Why. Yes, it's like so. I he, love that. So he talks about how <laughs> I think you can definitely relate to that because he talks about how people know what they do, mm. people know how to do it, mm. but they don't know. Why. Little people don't know why they do what they do. Yeah, and and. The reasons that they don't know what, what they do, it's it's when they, they that's when they lose motivation mm. to do work or anything yeah. at all. So with that said, what is your your ichigai? What is your 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 life purpose? This is super since, difficult. Since, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry putting you in the hot spot, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking that question. Asking yeah, that yeah. question is super easy, but answering this question is so hard. It's hard. <laughs> I'm doing this project. To explore my ikigai. Oh wow! I'm wow. still searching. I'm okay. exploring, but uh, now my ikigai is mm, doing something meaningful for the people or for the society. That is my ikigai. I'm not chasing my salary, or I'm I'm not chasing my only. But there's something more meaningful for the society, or for the people, for the youth, for the friends. Mm -hmm. Ah, Take said like this. What Take did is kind of this. Oh, I got inspired. Uh -huh. I do you know Take? He's doing good things for the society, uh, mm -hmm. inspiring the community. Those kinds of words or those kinds of reactions is what I need. I want to inspire the people. In different ways. Now I'm taking photos and uh, hearing, listening the life stories of the people, and introducing those stories and pictures to I the see. other people. Mm -hmm. And some people watching my photos and the stories will some kind of get inspired. That's what I'm doing now, and I'm feeling some ikigai from that. Uh, so it's all about finding like meaningful work through photography. Mm -hmm. When you're saying, yeah. Wow, and with since you've been doing it for a while, what's your best memory that you have through documenting all of this Ichigai wow. yeah. uh, project? Mm. Through this project, uh, I have been asked more than thirty people so far, yeah. and uh, sometimes two hours, sometimes fifteen minutes. It depends on the people, yeah. and. Um, while I was asking this question on the liver side, yeah. uh, the lady who was coming just on the day from US, 
and or is it is it the interviewer or is yeah, it another interview, friend? Yeah, interview. Interviewer. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. When I interview her. Yeah. Ah, this is the first time, first day in Cambodia. Ah, mm -hmm. this is so rare. Uh, what do you want to ask me? He, she and she just me. came from the U.S. Yeah. And then talking about what uh her lifestyle, she was drawing art, and uh, I want to come here. Uh, I I I came here to get inspired uh, from the people and uh, atmosphere, lights around. Cambodia. Yeah, I want to go around Cambodia and blah blah blah, and uh, asking about ikigai. Do have you ever heard about ikigai? What is ikigai? And uh, yeah. that is in English, uh, reason for being or what are you living for or reason? Oh, no, no, uh, life purpose. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking for it, but I didn't think about that for a long time. But this question makes me think and uh, feel I have to be more meaningful or I have to appreciate it. I, I have to appreciate for the meeting of the people. This question makes me getting back to the basic like core. So yeah. uh, those kinds of words, I, that, no, no, how to say, asking questions to the people mm -hmm. and people appreciating yeah. for that question. Wow, it's not, that, it's not an easy question to answer. Yeah, that is quite uh, interesting. I'm, I'm, ah, I feel it's good to do this. Yeah. And the other guy, landing half naked, ah. he's uh, coming from Sweden, and uh, I didn't talk with a young guy for a long time. But thank you for having time. Like those kinds of appreciating words is coming from those kinds of people who, wow. who I ask that question. Yeah. Through this project, they are different answers and uh, various uh, concept and thinking. Mm -hmm. I want to, yeah, it's quite nice to ask that question and people casually answer to me. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Wow. I also once tried to answer the question too. Mm. So far, the best answer, my, my Ichigai right now, is that I'm trying to be a bridge mm. between entrepreneurship and creative side with a bucket of positivity mm. and gratitude. That's that's been my Ichigai right that's now. Quite nice. Try trying to to bridge my business side of the story because mm. I'm a, I'm a business student yeah. while linking my creative side through photography mm. through different fields or communication. Uh, so far, that's been my Ichigai. But I'm sure there are youth. Uh, or people uh, my age out there that still finding their ichigai. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some tips and tricks that you would give it to them to see to oh find their, their oh. passion and to find their ichigai? Right? How old are you now? I'm oh. twenty. I'm twenty. So yeah. Oh my god! I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm thirty-eight this year. Almost half. Oh my god! Twenty guys. Yeah, I'm not twenty. I'm still, I'm still, still young. Still. But Still you know, a lot of long way to go. When I was 20, I was just playing football. <laughs> playing skateboarding and listening to the music and going uh -huh. around the Europe with my friend. Yeah. And just traveling and uh, see and uh, making a friends yeah. and just drinking. I didn't think about the world or society or Ikigai uh -huh. at that time. Uh -huh. But now, I'm getting 37 and looking back my use days yeah, and yeah. in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> I admire you. You no, have no, 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 no. Oh, please, no, no, no. I'm taking photos and uh, doing a creative thing and a uh, bridge. <laughs> to be a bridge between the entrepreneurship and creativity, that's yeah. awesome. But uh, my advice, no, it's not advice. Uh, it's kind of feeling. Don't stick, uh, don't stick too much about one uh, how to say one thinking uh, you can be flexible what uh, you can you can do whatever you want yeah uh, so if you want to be a bridge between entrepreneurs and the creative side you can you can go for it but if there is another interesting thing you uh. can you can look you can be flexible and go for it Oh. And uh, do a lot of experience, having yeah. a lot of experience and mixing together, 
makes you more unique, I think. So, what I want to say is do whatever you want and uh, make a lot of experience different from zero to A to Z. A lot of experience mm -hmm. makes you unique. So, don't stick only one thing. You can experience more various things and okay. you can go back. Uh, so, it's like, you know, so, so, so you're saying try to leave your options yeah, open yeah, yeah. yeah to be open to be to be open to different different fields yeah and let's say because but there are i'm pretty sure there are sometimes that they let's say oh when they were young they'd be like i want to be a doctor but then once they meet like different engineer yes. or different field they'd be like ah engineer isn't that bad either yeah. but then sometimes because of like you know or financial issue family reasons or society mm. they are not allowed they are not allowed to do certain job because mm -hmm. of the outside factors. It's, it's so sad. You mm -hmm. deny all the uh. opportunities. If you're open, you can be a football player, you can be a photographer, yeah. you can be an entrepreneur, you can do a business. Yeah. If you only see the business, you, you don't have a photography side or creative yeah. side, that's boring. That's for me, eh? for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I love interesting people, unique people, yeah. having a lot of experience. I want to talk about those kind of people, mm -hmm. but I have to be a doctor and chasing doctor, learning, yeah. studying yeah. only doctor, medical thing is super boring. Sorry, but it's uh, it's amazing. But yeah. uh, if you have opportunity and if you are so open to the different mm -hmm. uh, opportunities or experiences. You can you can do whatever you want. Does age plays a factor on finding your ichigai? guy? Let's mm. say, or oh, I'm twenty. Mm. I'm still let's say a long way to go. If I'm adding another twenty years, I'm still forty years old. I'm still quote unquote young. Yeah. But then let's say if you are forty years old, if you are fifty years old, yeah. you are you know even more. Or do I feel like I should find my ichigai guy at that age of sixty, or should be like, nope, like it's been too long now let's stop finding it and let's let's no no just what, what, what what's your thoughts on that i'm just curious I on think, what I does think, age play like a mm, factor on finding your purpose of, of life you know mm. i think ikigai would change time by time it changed by time I, right? and i think it's okay mm. 20s 30s 40s 50s ikigai would change time by time yeah and uh i think it's so rare that ikigai from 20s and 50s all the time same, it's totally rare, I think. Uh, With a lot of experiences, people, the think, way of thinking and feeling is would change little yeah. by little. Yeah. I'm totally different person uh, from 20s, I think. Me, the core is same, but core is uh, doing the actions is totally different from 20s. I didn't take any photos. I just doing playing football and drinking, that's it. Yeah. And international politics at that time I was studying and I'm working in the communication agency for 15 years mm -hmm. through those works I'm going back to the journalistic things international I politics see. so when I feel a ah, journalist were running about international politics yeah you know, um, I can go back now after the working for 15 years but now I, I didn't take that course now yeah. I didn't go I didn't take that path yet yeah but maybe I will go back to the international politics and I have to I want to pass through the journalistic way yeah uh, nobody knows uh, even me maybe, maybe I, soon I, yeah <laughs> maybe soon maybe longer yeah. later but uh, the important thing is in 20s or in 40s or in 60s mm -hmm. if you have a you young mind yeah. mindset everything can be started at any time yeah i see i see because usually when i talk to my friends like probably around around my age after especially after high school that's mm. when we, that's when we feel a lot of i'm sure you probably feel the same too we lot like pressure of mm. like yes, hey yes. it's adult now you're not you know more teenager because mm. you like you finish high school mm. except for university you should be thinking about what you should do about life there mm. like they they 
what well, if you were to go back, let's say yeah. when you were in high school, what, mm. what, what, what would you do different with what you have uh, right now? Mm. You know, I mean, what let's say you know about purpose of life, you know about Ichigai. Mm. Well, how would you do differently if you were back in, you know, right yes. off the bed out, out of high school? At the high school, I was just playing football and I wanted to be a professional <laughs> football. Would, yeah. But uh, my father was working for a Norwegian shipping company and, in, uh, Japan. in Japan. Yeah. And uh, so many foreign families coming to our home, mm -hmm. Norwegian, Brazilian, Italian, Egyptian, US people coming to our family. And that influenced me a lot. Mm -hmm. I want to something i want to work something in abroad yeah but i didn't understand what i should do at that yeah. time and i joined in the university in japan and mm -hmm. i studied international politics and international economy yeah but i decided to join the advertising agency communication agency and that was when you started university or that was like after two years or three years then you changed or like after the university after university mm. i was studying international politics my job was advertising agency yeah it's totally different it is totally different but in japan there is a unique uh how to say starting job uh timing uh -huh. all of the students has to have to graduate at the march yeah. and entering the company in april every year that is a japanese uh system yeah yeah in US, in Cambodia, I don't know, but uh, you don't have to join the company right after graduation. If you want to have it, have something you want to do, yeah, you can have time, and you don't have to listen to your parents mm -hmm. or your friends uh, recommending to be uh, an engineer. You don't have to listen. You have to listen to your core, okay. your mind. What do you want to do? Yeah. You, what do you want to be? What do you want? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about occupation. I'm oh. talking about the person, personality. What kind of person do you want to be? So would you recommend having like a role model that they could look up to and say, oh, I want to be this person. How can I be that person? Or mm. more like, oh, I kind of have an idea of, let's say I want to be a pilot. Mm and i should pursue that you know what's i know like because some they don't i don't think they they don't know who they are mm. at right off high school mm -hmm. so i'm pretty sure it must be tough for them and like yeah. find what's inside them mm. i know what 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 they 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 could do to so find them what i'm saying is uh graduation after just right after graduation from high school uh -huh. and deciding the occupation or the definite, definitely pass. Yeah, it's, it's super hard. So what I'm saying is, do experience as much as possible, taking photos, going around, uh, hanging out with the friends in the university, or if mm -hmm. you're not a university student, mm -hmm. even if you are not a university student, you can have a lot of experience going around the city, going yeah. around the towns, and uh, exactly. asking a lot of people questions and uh thinking about what you want to be what you what kind of people you want to be through the observation or uh, conversation or those kinds of experience sometimes through the study sometimes through the conversation sometimes through the job yeah or part-time job mm -hmm. you can get inspired from anything got it that's so that's what i'm saying so it's like if I part of uh, let's see if I summarize it right, it's like trying to touch in different field and yes. see what we can do about your dreams or your yes. passion. Like yes, that. yes, yes. I see, I see. So, no, it's sense. it's not a precise. It's not, it's not a precise answer, but that's, that's that what works. Right. Yeah, I see. Okay, so so it looks like it looks like what what you're saying is all about you know like you trying to touch in different fields. Either let's say if you're a business student don't just limit yourself to just business mm. but also touching a field of like yes. you know different you know the creative field or the science field mm. and see and then and, and you say that it's okay to change if you don't like it yes that's what i'm saying if i'm 20 years old 
university students and I listen this word, oh, I will be relaxed, more chill. Yeah. Uh, okay, I will go to the museum and see the art and uh, seeing the background of the artist uh, thinking, yeah. all those kind of things, and meeting with a me medical uh, course teacher and yeah. talking about medical science and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. All of the experience makes you life. I think. I see. I see. So I'm. I'm sure. I'm sure because when we are a, a teenager, mm -hmm. like let's say, you know, it's it's this outside pressure that all, that all, like affects us emotionally, mm -hmm. and then because of that, we are like we're trying to rush a lot into things, and then like in your case, let's say you say you, you mentioned that. Yes, listen to what your heart says, mm -hmm. and it may not satisfy your parents, but mm -hmm. it's what you like. Yeah, but it's really yeah, hard. It, it's it's really it hard to, to to oh mom, I don't like this. I want to go my way. Can you say that to your parents? In I can't. I don't know. <laughs> in, in, in Cambodia, <laughs> it's difficult. It's, it's it's difficult. And then how would you? How 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 would you be handling with all those you know negativity? Mm -hmm. All those like. Not, I'm not saying negativity. I'm not saying like more like, like you know, challenges or mm. barrier. That's like, I like different, and you like different. We may not cross path, mm. but I would love to go if it's my way. You know, it's like it, I, I would prefer to do it my way. If, if it you fails, can, yeah, it's my fault. Yeah, if you can explain that by rationally, and convince the parents, uh -huh. your parents will listen to you. I think. How would you? How would you word? You know, how would you? Let's say if you, 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 our age. You know, I know. Like, let's say I didn't ask what should I do. Oh. What should should I go? I didn't ask anything to my parents. Yeah. You should you should decide. My parents are like that. Because, this is my life. Why why should I, listen to the parents? Hey, Tage, Shun, you should go this. No, yeah. I don't want to listen. I see. I have. I want to do this. That's why I I decided to do this. Like I decided to go this one. Yeah. Like, I can explain to the parents if they ask me. Yeah. But they didn't ask me. They uh, leave it to me. They leave it to you. Mm. It's the same thing. I definitely relate to that too. My my parents as well too. They they are very flexible mm. on what I choose to become yeah. or what my occupation is. They said as long as you are happy. Mm. Because the future is mine. As long as you are happy with what you do, they are still willing to support. And then in my mind, as a teenager too, I'll be like, "Hey, you know, like, I'm, I'm thankful, really thankful for them for having my my back. Even if I do fail in what I like, I still mm. have their support." Yeah. But I I feel like for for some people it might be difficult because their their parents want a different thing and then they want a different thing and mm. then if if they fail. They fail to the ground, like mm. they, they don't have anything at all now because the their, their parents are not supporting them. them. So, how uh, for so would you recommend like the same advice for them as well too? Let's say if they have a conflict perspective with their parents and mm. their their and themselves, you know, like it's they, super difficult. Man. <laughs> I know, I know. I think <laughs> this know. is a let's say this is also a cultural difference. Yes, yes. But in Japanese society, also, there is a strict parent, and uh, some friends have to follow parents' words or have to follow the parents. Yeah. But I think it's better to talk and having a time, and uh, this is what I want to do. This oh, is my life. A tough conversation. Mm. Don't give up to choose your life and choose your choose your path. Yeah. Even the parents are super strict. Um, I think you have to talk, uh, and you cannot escape from the conversation. Mm, I see. But just listen and not. Mentioning about what you want to do mm -hmm. is the worst case. You have something to do, yeah. but your parents are not allowed to do that. Yeah. yeah. And just listen to the parents. Your life ruined. So just talk to them 
talk to them, never give up, talk, 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 and yeah. they will give up. Yeah. I believe. They will give up. But some, some family, some, uh, some people cannot allow those kind of things, so it's so tough. There is no one solution for yeah. those kind of families. But even in such kind of situation, please mm -hmm. don't give up. I see. So it, it, it looks like also, yes, I know, I think convincing might be a, a good solution to that. But at the same time, I think it also comes down to the children too of how like, yes, I do want to be, let's say I want to be a doctor, mm. but you should able to be proving yourself like going to, I don't know, go to like different organizations that are doctor or medical related and, and you know, be really active. Mm. On, on what you do, would, would, would you recommend that too? Like it's a, mm. like, sh like proving a wrong, not, not just by saying, but also proving that yeah. I love what I do, mm. I'm willing to, to, to sacrifice yeah. my weekend for this is, this is also super important. Mm. I'm just take the foot, playing football, but I was playing since super young, yeah. and yeah. still now I'm, I'm playing football. Uh -huh. And I'm taking pictures, this is my hobby, it's not job, but uh, sometimes invited by the the different photographer yeah. and uh, sometimes picked up for the department store yeah. and uh, ex exhibit, having an exhibition. Mm -hmm. Those kinds of opportunity or those kinds of, uh, how to say, uh, if you want to take photos, you have to prove yourself. Mm. If you want to keep on playing football, you have to prove yourself. Yeah. And my families or my friends or for for myself, yeah. If you want to do this, you have to show your ability or uh -huh. like uh, prove yourself. Show that you're willing to take the challenge. Yes, yes, yes. yes. This I is see. super important, I think. I see. I see. Uh, so enough about the the youth talk. Let's say. Uh, so what is your current plan, and what will be your your future plan like starting from now do you see yourself staying in Cambodia or, or what's what, what's your next step of the Ichigai project mm. my Ichigai project I can do I can continue wherever in the world actually in yeah. Cambodia in Japan in Brazil in Russia uh, mm -hmm. anywhere I can ask this question I will definitely uh, continue this work project yeah life work yeah so I will do that but uh, I'm not sure I'm staying in Cambodia for a long time or uh, I have to go back to Japan or I have to move to Singapore. It depends on my job. Again. My job yeah. uh, but I really want to move to the other countries as well, especially uh, South America, yeah. like Argentina or Uruguay. Oh, wow. I, I wow. want to see and I want to live in those kind of countries because I love football, I love the European style architecture and the people in South yes. Latin America is quite attractive. I want to go around the South Africa. Ah uh, South America. South South America. Wow. So um, it's Asia, South Africa, to South America, to yeah. anywhere in the world. Do you do you see yourself being let's say Let's say, you know, once you retire, do you see yourself hosting a uh, photography class for the youth or like, let's say, an Ichigai class mm. for, for the youth to, you know, to help them find? How do you see yourself when once you, you know, once you retire, let's say, like? Yeah, I, I didn't think about that, but <laughs> I will mean, I mean, continue taking pictures uh -huh. and uh, thinking about Ichigai still. <laughs> 70, I cannot find Ichigai, but I have some ways uh, of thinking, how to see the world or those kind of things. Yeah. I can I can talk to the youth especially uh, from all over around the world. Uh, I want to have that kind of time after retiring. <laughs> Maybe even now. <laughs> yeah. So so you do so you do have some plan for for the youth. Yeah. I guess I'm just take my, my kids there and be like, you know what <laughs> <laughs> Well well since we Coming close to to the podcast, mm. uh, let's say I just want to end a podcast with some uh, questions that I made. We I call it the We Talk Cards. Oh, nice! So it will be a bunch of different questions yeah. that are, that I have put inside 
the cards and and you might answer in like five sentence or less or it could be short answers okay. preferably. Okay. So you take out five cards five and then cards. from from the whatever. five questions, whatever it is. Five cards, yeah. One, two, two three, three uh, four, and five. Five. Alright, so let's see. So so here's the first question that yes. I got from the 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 card. Mm. It says would you sacrifice yourself for a stranger? For a stranger? For for, for a stranger. <sighs> if I think is... I think I think this question could be expand to like sacrifice as in like let's say I don't know, um Ooh, it's actually a really tough question. So uh, it's a life or uh, no, some time or money or Ma, I can I can sacrifice myself for the stranger. Like like money, stuff like that. Yeah. Let's if say, it is necessary, inevitable, I have to save, I have to sacrifice myself. Okay. Would you sacrifice if it require, you know, bits of your you know, your times, your everything for let's say a complete stranger that you interview mm. for your Ichigai project? It's totally, totally fine. And everybody supporting me in this okay. project. Okay, yeah. that's a good answer. Alright, so the second second question is if you find out that you were going to die tomorrow, what would you do today? <laughs> Having a podcast, right? <laughs> God. Definitely join this podcast. <laughs> and going to Wow, it's so hard. <laughs> Wow. It's a tough question, isn't it? Yeah, tough question. <laughs> what should I do? Ooh. I would spend time with family, I don't know. Yeah, spend time with family. And... Oh, oh, oh we can keep the question for, for later. Yes, later. For later. <laughs> oh, it's so tough. <laughs> what should I do? Um, so, the third question is... If you could not work for five years, mm. could not work. could not work for five years. Yeah, say you, you cannot do street photography. Yeah. you cannot do, uh, you know, doing football. Mm. What would you do? Can I work everything? Yes. Just floating on the river. On the river. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If okay, the fourth question is: If there's one rule mm. that you have. You can make in this world. What would be one rule that every people should okay. live by? If I have a power like that, I will make a rule for the people. Act equally, everybody. Act equally. Which one? Tell me more. Can you more uh, about that? The, I'd say uh, to be kind to the people. To be kind to yes. one another. Wow, that's, that's, that's a big this one. No, delete the inequality. Uh -huh. All right, so the last question is, that might be a tough one too. What has been your biggest challenge in life and how did you overcome it? So far or? I would say, let's say when you were- The biggest challenge? Let's say about, about this, between age, teenager to Oh yeah, learn to thirty. Let's say for you. okay. Since the biggest challenge was when I was seventeen years old, I was uh, beaten up oh. on the street by the street gang, and I couldn't uh, go to the football professional football test. Uh -huh. That is the most toughest challenge in my life at that time. But so many friends and coaches and teachers supporting me, I was almost kill myself at that time. Oh, it was so down at that time because I was playing football only at that time but yeah all of a sudden the street gang stopped that but my friends and words kind words helped me so I will I was uh, supported by my friends so that, that is the overcoming uh, by the support from the friends from the friends what I mean if you don't mind me asking a bit on that, uh, what are the most inspiring words that your friend gave to you to give you the courage to 
move on your life after this such an, an, an unexpected incident. You are not there. You, if you give it, give up, if you are not, if you don't give up, you can go back. I believe that word, and I train a lot, and I coming back to play football. I deeply believe that word. Wow! That, so that makes me strong, more stronger. So your last quote that will be that, that your friends gave you where, if you're not there, this is still a way ahead. Yes. yes. Wow! That's it. And then you still and and you're living by that quote the whole yes. time. Wow. So don't don't give up and those kind of mentality or mindset yeah. is still going on in my in my mind. Yeah. 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 And taking photos, playing football, working, everything's supported by that quote. Yeah. So before we close the, the podcast, here are uh oh the photos that oh, one more question? That, oh one more question? I mean no, we have five. Oh I think we have one more. I skipped the uh, one oh, oh I see. Oh yeah. So the questions was what would you do? What would what would you do differently if you know that you're going to die tomorrow? Mm. Okay, that that's the question. Yes. Let's go back. I will drink, eat, <laughs> drink it. <laughs> having a good time, chilling time with my family, with my friends. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Ending in a happy note. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So before we, we before we move uh, close down the podcast mm. and uh, before we forget to here are the photos your favorite photos of yes. all time, uh, and would you mind tell us a bit of story about each photos and yeah. then and then we, we could you know what 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 are some some best uh, uh, time that you you took this one yes do you know the railway yep yep there is uh, some uh, super harsh family. Uh, the poor families are living here, mm -hmm. and uh, my friend Bjorn from Germany and uh, Marcus from South Africa. Yeah, we were going to photo walk so many times, uh -huh, uh -huh. and this is uh, one morning. I think last year, two thousand nineteen or two thousand eighteen. Yeah. we were waking up at five and going there five thirty six in the morning. Uh -huh. There was still uh, smoking. Uh, from the garbage, burning the garbages, and uh, morning light is coming through the smoke, and I was just, we were just walking around the railway, yep. but this moment was coming, the women having a lot of stuff and going to the selling, yep. going, going to sell these, these kind of things, so I was feeling super harsh life, but still going on. So uh -huh. I titled this photo "Life Goes On." Life, life goes on. Mm. This was super uh, memorable scene. Yeah, and this one also coming from uh, morning shooting. Uh, he didn't notice me at all, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, still lights on. And uh, I think that was five forty-five or five thirty in the uh -huh. morning. So he was looking at his product like soy sauce yeah super focus focusing <laughs> and a lot of stuff so that this is the opening the shop yeah and i feel the engagement with between the product and the owner i feel the super beauty uh from this scene wow and this one this guy is a uh, regular uh, yeah. of the coffee shop yeah the coffee shop it's not like brown or Starbucks or it's not so fancy. Uh -huh. This is the street coffee shop. Yeah. And the owner is uh, walking around here. Yeah. More than 25 years. And he is always sitting there. <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I became a friend of him. Yeah. Uh, he let me take his portrait. Uh, this is a morning light and a very good street uh -huh. uh, coffee shop. Yeah. And I believe this will be at the Olympic Stadium. Yeah, Olympic Stadium. I love the Olympic Stadium. The architecture, beautiful uh, steps. Yeah, the steps. And uh, at that time, the two kids uh, running each other. Uh -huh. And uh, most of the photos are like people uh, in the middle. Yeah. And sometimes I play with the 
tiny photo, tiny people photo. Yeah. So all of the Bang Mori Bang Olympic Stadium uh, architecture, yeah. and in the middle there is a uh, kids playing, kids playing around. It's, it's a quite nice uh, timing. So mm -hmm. I love this photo. Wow. And this is a uh, street market. Yeah. Uh, near my home, and uh, there is a lot of shadows and the tents, but uh, on the on her face with a mask. With a mask on. Uh, the sunshine came all of a sudden, so I just took this moment. Wow. I felt a uh, beautiful contrast between shadow and light. Wow. And then, th those kinds of photos are just an uh, example, but I love this one. Yeah. These are just, just some examples of his all his photos. And there's a bunch, a bunch more of the photos that he <laughs> yeah. has here. Uh, and then they say, pictures tell lots of stories, and I believe there's a lot of stories that you tell in all your photos. Mm. What would be a, a simple tip that you would give to all the street photographers out there if they have to 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 keep in mind? I actually, honestly speaking, I've never studied uh, taking photos or rights or those kinds of things. I've I've never seen YouTube how to use the wow uh, camera. I was just touching and uh, feeling and taking photos, photos. How to move this one, this one bunch of photos I was shooting uh -huh. and through shooting and uh, at the site and uh, yep. taking people's and uh, having a conversation with uh -huh. the people yep, yep. those kinds of uh, experience makes me more confident confident and um, those kinds of uh, framing yep. or rights or the ideas how to take pictures is coming from the experience I think so learning through the books, learning through the YouTube, it's important. Yeah. But more important is taking pictures by yourself and uh, what would it like be like in rainy day, shiny day, all all the time, anytime, anywhere. You can test uh, uh, your skill. Uh, mm. You can learn by shooting. Learn by doing. Learn by doing. Mm. That is my tips. So it's about like what's what you want to shoot and what's what's the meaning behind. Mm. The and uh, I, I'm focusing on the photos, who which has uh, some kind of story. Yeah. Mm. I I am so happy if the people who watch my photos, ah, these photos, uh, I feel something through this photo. This is so happy. Wow, it means a lot. Well. This comes to an end of the podcast. Big shout out to FT Gallery and Factory Phnom Penh for hosting at the, at the space. And once again, Shinso Miyayate, Miyatake. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for thank your you time. So thank thank so you so much for, for your stories, your creativity, your tips and tricks for the youth. This comes to an end of the new, new podcast. And how can people find you and for for future references like how can people instagram could be how instagram mm. facebook or you know, what, what what is your your uh, instagram uh, my instagram follow? my instagram and uh, facebook page is casa de take how do you spell uh at c a s a d e t a k e casa de take Kasade, Kasade Take. Yes. Well, thank you so much. If anyone <laughs> try to find Take, you can always go to his Instagram at Kasade Take. And for now, this is Youth Avenue Podcast. I'm Hao Sitake signing off. Thank you. Thank you.